Les Waller here. What better way to start your day than with a fresh baked blueberry scone? Watch this video and see how easy they are to make. The ingredients listed will be found in the description of the video below. Add two cups of all-purpose flour. We're using Franken Gold Weizen Mail Type 405. One third cup granulated sugar. We're using a one third cup brown sugar. One quarter teaspoon baking soda. One tablespoon baking powder. Half teaspoon salt. Mix these together. What I'm doing here is the brown sugar tends to clump together. So I'm just making sure it's not. Add four ounces cubed butter. They call for unsalted, which I can't get, so I just use whatever butter I can get. Cube it, and then I put it back in the refrigerator. While I'm preparing the ingredients. Work it into the flour with the tip of your fingers. Add one egg, two thirds cup buttermilk. I went ahead and stirred this before I opened it. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Beat to combine. They would like this to set aside one and a half tablespoons. What this is for is to coat the outside of the scones before they go in the oven. So we will set that aside. Make a well to put the liquid mixture in. Pour in the liquid mixture. At this time, I'm going to try to incorporate the blueberries into our scones. So I think this is the best time when we're actually mixing it all together. And stir it together. Fold it in. Yeah, that's the perfect time to add the blueberries. I think if you try to do it later, it'll be much more difficult. Yeah. Nicely, I think they're pretty evenly distributed. Good. Now I'm going to use the remainder of the flour that I had um, to flour the surface, this working surface. Fold the dough. We're going to bring the dough onto the surface and fold it several times. Now it seems to me it's it's pretty wet, so I want to. Uh, I want to flour this surface again. This is too wet. It's almost too wet to work with. I think we've worked the flour in good there so it's not as wet. We want to make it into a circular shape and about an inch high and then we're going to cut it like a pie. These are going to be, uh, I guess you could call it pie shaped uh, scones today. About a knuckle, about a knuckle high. You can use parchment paper on your baking sheet. I've been using cornmeal. I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven. 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 Celsius. The final step before we do put it in the oven, once it's preheated, is to brush the top and sides of the scones with the egg mixture that we set aside. 
put them in the oven. Since it's middle of summer and it's still early evening, late afternoon, while they sit in the oven, Les Waller International, we're going to go outside and enjoy the warm weather and sip on some coffee while we're waiting for these to bake. Won't you join me afterwards? It says now to let cool completely on a wire rack. Those look brown pretty much all around. I think we've cooked them long enough. They look very nice. Just a few minutes ago, that was flour, baking soda, baking powder, egg, sugar, salt. Huh, look at the transformation.